of black bowls and put a whole bunch of soap in it from the soap dispenser. Is it glass bowls? Yes, put the soap in the black bowl. So you need to pick, you're going to need two colors of glaze, one that's lighter and one that's darker. And you need to do the lighter one first, all right? Now, here's the thing. It's smart if you guys share the glaze. Is this the soap that came out of the soap dispenser? Yeah. That? Well, that's weird. Okay, so you need to get a bunch of soap from the soap dispenser. Go to the other one see if it comes out not bony. They must have got different soap. The soap they have at school works awesome for bubble glaze. If you do this any other time, do not use Dawn dish soap because you know how they use Dawn to help like wildlife animals, it strips all the oil. If you do that, it also doesn't let the glaze bubbles react right. Oh dang, this is different. So the school soap, for whatever reason, does work really well to make this bubble glaze process happen. So you need an empty cup. And like I said, if you're gonna do the same color as somebody else, share the color. Get your own straw from the drawer over there that says straws, okay? Um, don't share your straw with somebody else. That's the gross part about it, okay? Um, and when you're finished, throw it away because I don't want to reuse your gross straws. Then you need glaze. So we put the cup halfway full of soap, okay? Everybody see that? Now, when you put the glaze in, you're going to be able to see it'll sit on top of the soap. See that? You have to string the glaze in there so that you pretty much get it all over the top of the soap like frosting. So does it take a lot of glaze or a little glaze? A lot. That's why I said if you're going to use the same color as somebody else, share the cup. Because when you're done, where does this go? Done. Down the drain. Okay. So get your soap in there first, halfway full. Then make sure you kind of drizzle the glaze in there so it's like frosted on the top, kind of like a donut. Then you're going to take some water and you're going to pour the water in the middle. So you should be able to feel, you don't want a ton of water. Okay, we just need water to make bubbles. Literally like you blow bubbles in a milk cup. What'd I do with that straw? It's gonna say it ran away. Then you're going to take the cup. That's cool. That's I know. Well, I'm not drinking it. I'm just no, blowing air in there. Don't suck in. Well, you can. So if you if you if you drink some, let us know how it tastes, because we'll let you be the guinea pig. <laughs> okay. So this is what I want you to watch. Do you see how you're not touching anything? Do you see the cells of the bubble showing up on there really, really good? So you cover your surface as much as you want it. So see how I don't have the edges covered? I love that. I don't know. I wasn't expecting. I don't know what I was expecting, but it was bad. Well, there's lots of different ways to do bubble glaze, but I've done it a ton, and this is what I found out works the best. So you can see by us using hardly any water, the glaze color is way more saturated. So you get the big, bold bubble strokes. But you don't want to put it on there and then pop them. You want to let them pop themselves because that's what leaves your gaps to make your negative space where the cells don't like that makes the little outline for the cells. Okay. I still want to get some more right there. So okay. So then I'm literally letting it sit on the table until they pretty much dissipate on their own. Okay. So remember, I did this dark blue color first, and it's because of the way I'm going to do my process for what I need to, I want to do on the platter. Once you um, have your cells on the top the way you want them, you can kind of take your hand literally and fan it. Do you see how it starts to pop some of the bubbles? Don't smush the bubbles off. If you swoop, swoop the bubbles off, you're going to get a ton of these um, like runny spots. Okay, see the purple, how it ran a lot more? I have the hiccups. Imagine that. I always have hiccups. So once the cells mostly dissipate from the top, okay, um, start to fan it a little bit. And then once they're pretty much gone, like that doesn't matter because we're going to flip it over and they'll finish popping so that I can do it on the back now. Same process. You can kind of... Um, if you get a bunch of bubbles up on the top of here, you can kind of control it. So like, if I want to make kind of asymmetrical design, I can just put those bubbles there and stop and leave all that have a lot of negative space. 
It just depends on what you want. Like if you look at this one, there's more blue just through the middle and you can see more purple on these two edges. But on the back, there's tons of more blue. So you can do that however you want that to be. You can hear it starting to sound a little bit different because there's almost not hardly any water left in there. It's almost just soap and glaze left. When it starts to get like that, you'll be able to feel it. It starts to spatter like your face. Um, so what I do is usually just add a little bit more water. Now, here's the deal. When you add more water like that at this point, what happens to your glaze saturation? It goes down, so your color is going to be a little lighter. That's why I always make sure I can do the whole front first so that I get the color the same. And on the back, you're still going to have bubbles. It doesn't matter. And I could even stop. But you can see how cool the cells are from not, from not adding a whole bunch of water. They are, the, the cell lines are way more prominent when you do it like this than if you have a whole bunch of water in your cup. That's all you want. Halfway soap, drizzle the whole top with glaze and just a little bit of water. Like literally when I'm putting water in there, I'm, I only have like that much water in the bottom. And then like that much soap. Cause you remember you want your cup to be halfway fill, filled with soap to start with. So the other thing is, if you keep blowing on that straw a long, long time, What's gonna happen? Yeah. You're gonna get lightheaded. That's why I did it for a little bit, then I stopped. Because you're constantly forcing air out. So if you start to feel funny, and you can tell that, stop blowing bubbles. Now, if someone else wants to use this color, just you keep your straw, go to the sink and wash it out, and then you can switch straws and then somebody else can take your color. That's right, you can you see what I mean? So you're not wasting a whole bunch of glaze. So don't rinse out your glaze cup until you make sure that nobody else wants to bubble glaze with that color, okay? okay. Anybody have any questions? So I'm just gonna leave this part sit here now until the bubbles go down. You can see what starts to happen is it starts to get like, as the bubbles pop, you start to get some foamy areas. Don't worry about it because what happens to it? What happens to the, if it stays foamy like that as it dries, what's gonna happen when we put it in the kiln? It's gonna, it's gonna burn out. Yeah, the soap completely burns away and just the glaze cells stay on your pottery. And you already have it white based. So it'll all be nice and shiny like this one. We don't have to dip them in clear glaze or anything, okay? Um, I want you to try two colors, a lighter one and a darker one. Then, if you really like that, the color that pops the most, what do you think that is? Black. So if you want to have like a whole bunch of the black um, cell lines on it, do black last because then it'll pop on top of everything else. So, oh, so we do, is it like we do the process over, but with a different color? Yep, so once you have this one, like just say that we did yellow and blue. So we would do all the yellow first, just like this. And then once the yellow's done, like this, it's be, it's done enough that you can pick, you know, you can fan it a little bit to pop some more. But just so you can pick it up, it's not gonna matter if it's just bubbles and glaze if you get it on you. It will wash out of your clothes. So then, boys. That's him being loud. When you do the first color, then you just turn it over and do your second color. And then if you want to add black, then you can add black. So if I want this and then I wanted black to just go across this part, just blow the bubbles or you can have, have someone else blow bubbles for you. You can catch them in your hands and you can put them on there where you want them. Okay. Anybody else have any other questions? So can